हेलो एवरीवन वेलकम टू माय यूट्यूब चैनल ऑन इंजीनियरिंग मैथमेटिक्स इन दिस वीडियो वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न वन ऑफ द स्पेशल फंक्शन कॉल्ड एज गैमा फंक्शन दिस फंक्शन इज कॉल्ड एज स्पेशल फंक्शन बिकॉज इट इज डिफाइंड एज एन इंटीग्रल विथ सम प्रॉपर्टीज सो लेट एस सी डेफिनेशन ऑफ गैमा फंक्शन फॉर एनी रियल नंबर एन ग्रेटर दैन जीरो गैमा फंक्शन इज डिफाइंड एज एन इंटीग्रल of e raised to minus x into x raised to n minus 1 dx over the limit 0 to infinity this integral is denoted by gamma of n notation this is read as gamma of n note that here in the integrand of rhs power of x is 1 less than the number in the gamma notation so using this definition you can write gamma of any number for example gamma of 3 can be written as integral from 0 to infinity of e raised to minus x into x square dx once again note that here power of x is one less than the number in the gamma notation on lhs this form of the gamma function that you see we call it as first form of the gamma function now let me show you the second form of the gamma function it is given by the integral of e raised to minus t square into t raised to 2n minus 1 dt over the limit 0 to infinity into 2 and how to get this form to get it we have to substitute x is equal to t square in its first form when we put x is equal to t square we see value of dx is 2t dt and when x has limit 0 value of t is also 0 similarly when x is equal to infinity value of t will also be equal to infinity now let us transform this integral gamma of n is this when i put x is equal to t square this first term becomes e raised to minus t square second term that is x raised to n minus 1 will become t raised to 2n minus 2 and dx is 2t dt let us take out this 2 inside the integral we will have e raised to minus t square into t raised to 2n minus 2 into t raised to 1 that is t raised to 2n minus 1 into dt so we get the second form of gamma function by substituting x is equal to t square in its first form i hope you understood these definitions of gamma functions now let us see some of the properties of gamma function in the very first property we see gamma of n plus 1 can be written as n into gamma of n provided n is positive real number let us see proof for this property we know that gamma of n is defined as an integral of e raised to minus x into x raised to n minus 1 dx over the limit 0 to infinity then gamma of n plus 1 can be written as integral of e raised to minus x into x raised to n dx over the limit 0 to infinity note that when we have n here power of x is n minus 1 so for n plus 1 power of x will be n now let us evaluate this integral using integration by parts rule integration by parts rule says integration of u into v dx is u into integration of v dx minus integration of integration of v into derivative of u into dx here we will take u is equal to x raised to n and v is equal to e raised to minus x so integration of e raised to minus x into x raised to n dx will be u into integration of v minus integral of integration of v into derivative of u derivative of u is n into x raised to n minus 1 and integration of v is e raised to minus x upon minus 1 now let's substitute these limits in x when we put upper limit infinity in x we see we have e raised to minus infinity term e raised to minus infinity is 0 and then after substituting x is equal to 0 here we see 0 into everything becomes 0 so after substituting these limits we end up with zero 
Now this minus into this minus becomes plus. N is a constant term, we can take it out. So we will left here with the integral of e raised to minus x into x raised to n minus 1 dx over the limit 0 to infinity. But this integral is nothing but gamma of n. So we replace it by gamma of n. Therefore we have gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n into gamma of n. Now let me show you how one can use this property. For that consider these examples. Gamma of 5 can be written as 4 into gamma of 4. Similarly, gamma of some fraction say 3 by 2 can be written as 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2. Note that here n plus 1 is 5. So n is 4. Therefore, gamma of 5 can be written as 4 into gamma of 4. Similarly, in this case, n plus 1 is 3 by 2. So n is 1 by 2. Therefore, gamma of 3 by 2 is 1 by 2 into gamma of 1 by 2. Now, let us see another property. Here I am showing you gamma of 1 is equal to 1. You can use the technique that I am going to use here to find the value of gamma of 1 for finding gamma of any number. Look at here. I am using the definition of gamma of n. We know gamma of n is given by this integral. Now on both sides, I am going to put n is equal to 1 to get value of gamma of 1. So gamma of 1 is given by the integral e raised to minus x into x raised to 1 minus 1 dx. This becomes x raised to 0 and anything raised to 0 is always 1. So we end up with integral of e raised to minus x dx. Integral of e raised to minus x is e raised to minus x upon minus 1 over the limit 0 to infinity. Now we substitute these limits in x. When we put upper limit infinity in x, we get e raised to minus infinity which is 0. And after substituting lower limit 0 in x, we get e raised to 0 that is 1. So we have 1 upon minus 1 that's minus 1. And this minus becomes plus 1. Therefore, value of gamma of 1 is 1. Now, let me show you how to find out gamma of 0. This time, I am not going to use this integral definition to find gamma of 0. Instead, I will take help of property 1 that says gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n into gamma of n. Look at here. We will prove gamma of 0 is infinity. We know that gamma of n plus 1 is n into gamma of n. Then by rearranging the terms here, we will have gamma of n is equal to gamma of n plus 1 upon n. To find the value of gamma of 0, we put n is equal to 0 in this. So we see gamma of 0 is gamma of 1 upon 0. But gamma of 1 is 1, we just saw it. And 1 upon 0 or anything upon 0 is always infinity. So we end up with the property which says gamma of 0 is infinity. Now let's see another one. Here we will see gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n factorial whenever n is a positive integer. Look at the explanation part. We know that gamma of n plus 1 is equal to n into gamma of n. This we got from property number 1. Then we replace this gamma of n using the same property. So gamma of n can be written as n minus 1 into gamma of n minus 1. So repeatedly we are using this property. Once again this gamma of n minus 1 can be written as n minus 2 into gamma of n minus 2. Continuing this process we may end up with the 3 into 2 into 1 into gamma of 1. But we saw gamma of 1 is 1. So this gamma of 1 can be replaced by 1. So we get n into n minus 1 into n minus 2 up to 3 into 2 into 1. But this is nothing but n factorial. Therefore, we say gamma of n plus 1 is n factorial. Now, let me show you how you can use this property. Consider any positive integer, say 5. So, if n plus 1 is 5, then n will be 4. Therefore, gamma of 5 can be written as 4 factorial. Similarly, you can use this property for finding value of 
gamma of any positive integer. I hope you understood all these properties. In my next video, we will see examples on evaluation of some integrals using gamma function. Till then, thank you all of you. Thank you for watching this video. Please subscribe my YouTube channel and press the bell icon to get updates about my new videos.